Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you promises. So promises are a really cool thing in ES6 and they essentially allow you to take care of asynchronous programming. Generally, JavaScript is single threaded. So if I type a line here and type another line here, another line here, it, the spaces are actually really matter. I mean, the empty line doesn't matter. You'll execute this line, this line, this line, this line, you know, just one after another. But if you're doing something asynchronous, such as Ajax, when you're, you know, interacting with, you know, a server or other servers or other files, code may not, you know, fully execute or a bit of the code fast enough for the next code to be executed afterwards so you might actually get some you know you know sync issues so to handle that you can use stuff like callbacks and promises promises are the new way of doing things so i'm just going to use a very simple example but the logic applies whether you're using ajax something else asynchronous loading images but we're just going to create a method to demonstrate it using divide so i'm going to fetch function called divide and in here I will take two numbers, no one, no two. And we're going to do var promise. So you need to create a promise and put it into new promise. So this is a promise object. And this will be a function in itself. And it will take two parameters, resolve and reject. So resolve will be sent back if it's successful, reject if it isn't successful. In here, we are simply going to say if if num2 does not equal zero, then we know that it is it can be done, it can be computed. So we're going to say resolve num1 for slash num2, and now we'll just say else reject. There's a couple of different ways to do this. You can either just put, you know, a quotation mark here, and you could also do that in here instead of, you know, calculating something. If you're just basically returning a message back saying it works, but you could even say no zeros allowed or something along those lines, or you could enclose this in an error as you can in, you know, other stuff in JavaScript as well. This just provides you with a full stack trace. I'm just going to keep it simple and have no error, but I just wanted to let you know about that. Okay, last thing, you just need to return the promise. So if we run this, this won't actually, you know, display anything in the console or, you know, do anything yet because we need to actually call it. To call it, we do the void, so the name of the function. Pass it some parameters, so let's pass it five and zero. We do dot then. And you could have this all on the same line, I'm just separating it. We're gonna have a, quite a few lines of code here, just make it a little neater. And just have a few extra lines as well, so this is roughly in the middle. And open parentheses. And in here, you do function. Function and this is going to be called result. So this is if it's been successful. So the first function is if it's successful. And if it's successful, it's going to say console.log and we'll log out the result. And you know, naturally, you can do other stuff here as well. That's totally up to you. But we are, we're not going to. So now we're going to say comma. And now we're going to do function, and this is going to handle the error. So call it error. It doesn't really matter. And in here, we're going to say console.log error and semicolon. And now if we run it, we get no zeros allowed. If we replace this with a 2, for example, we should get a result of 2.5. Okay, so now let me show you where these promises really come to play so if here i were to call another promise it could be the same one or it could be a different one i'm just going to call the same one and i could just do let's say return divide and i'm going to say fix comma seven and then i need to handle essentially this again and i do that by putting dot then it's basically literally the exact same as this put that there but 
I'm not gonna do another return, therefore I won't be calling another promise. And do, 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 do. I'm overall all happy with that. Yeah, so if we run, this is what we get. We get 2.5 and 0 0.85 a seven. Let's say what happens we get five and zero. We get no zeros allowed and undefined. So if we want to check if this if we want to make sure that this is only run afterwards and only if it is successful, we can do it like so. Instead of you know doing a bunch of complex if and else if statements, if we're do you know running a lot of lines of code, common examples of this is if you're loading images but you you don't know which one's gonna load first, but you generally only want to you know use let's say the next one or load the next one if the previous one has loaded you can do it like so and that's it that's what promises oh this is the general format you can go pretty crazy with it i'm going to provide a link that will, will give you all of the different little facets and features that promises in javascript provides if you have any questions because it's quite a complex topic feel free to pop me a message and i look forward to seeing you in the next programming video